Hey friends, Dave here at Transfer Express, and today we are talking about the power of a heat press and custom heat transfers. Now for many decorators, a heat press is the most cost-effective way to get into printing apparel at home or really anywhere. Now couple that with a low learning curve and the ability to decorate on a wide array of styles and fabrics, and you've sure got a recipe for success. Now, have you considered all of the products that you could print with just your heat press? Well, today we are. From bags to koozies, workwear to fleece, we're going to do it all. Now, I'm going to show you what heat transfer to use that's going to apply to all of these different types of fabrics and a few tricks along the way that can make you a confident and capable printing powerhouse, allowing you to deliver quality merch for your own brand or to your customers. So are you ready? Let's get to printing. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We are kicking out new videos like this one every single week. Okay, now before we get to printing, let's set up a scenario. Here we've got a tall order for a local brewery with a few different needs for custom merchandise. We're going to be doing eight total items here in this video today, from standard t-shirts and hoodies to elevated tri-blend t-shirt styles, some work shirts, and even a soft shell cooler, a cross body bag or hip pack, although they're still fanny packs to me, and we're also going to do a giveaway koozie or can cooler. Now, since we've got a low quantity need here, Maybe we're just printing samples to display in the brewery or for a photo shoot. We are going to be using our Ultra Color Max direct to film transfers today. Now, direct to film is fantastic for printing on demand as well, or fulfilling orders for e commerce or an online store. Essentially, you just order what you need when you need it and then print when necessary. No need to stock anything. It keeps any risk very low for you and the profit margins pretty high. Now, especially with a heat press and custom transfers, the only investment that you're going to need to make is a heat press, one piece of equipment for a low cost, no maintenance, no inks to stock and no mess to clean up. Now, if we were able to do a full production run in high quantities, we absolutely could print all of these with a screen printed transfer in the two color design that we'll be using here today. And we would be able to fit almost all of this artwork on a single gang sheet, or essentially a group of artwork all on one page. So we are consolidating our print cost and maximizing our profits for those bulk runs. Now our DTF prints here today that we're going to be using are going to arrive all grouped together, say, on a roll, right? But we've ordered these as separate images to keep our costs low, as these are just six cents per square inch in any quantity. Now talk about profitable. All right, well, let's get to printing here, friends. First things first, we're going to set our heat press to the correct settings. So that means 290 degrees here on our temperature, which is going to allow us to decorate synthetic garments without any scorching or damage to the fabric. Next, our time. At just 12 to 15 seconds, these Ultra Color Max transfers are fairly quick to print, and time is money, right? Lastly, our pressure. With a medium pressure required, we're going to aim for a five on our pressure readout here. Now, this is one of my absolute favorite features of this Hottronics Auto Open Clamshell Press. Right here is this pressure display. It takes all of the guesswork out of applying transfers. Now, for our first print, we're going to load our standard t-shirt onto the heat press here. Now, we're using the Port & Company PC450 fan favorite tee. Now, I love this basic ring spun cotton tee for the price and the quality. It's more than a fan favorite, it's a Dave favorite. With our settings set and ready to go, we're going to do a quick pre-press. Now, we just place our graphic here on the shirt. For left chest placement right here, I'm going to align the shoulder seam where it meets the collar and go about four fingers down from the bottom of the collar to the top of the graphic. No cover sheets are needed, just be sure any collars or seams are off of the printing surface, so we have a nice, even pressure all across the surface area of the press. With the hot peel, bam! 
Simple, smooth, and easy, and we have our first printed item. This shirt is going to retail for uh, somewhere around 18 to 20 bucks. So we've got more than $14 in this one shirt for profit split between us and the brewery. Now next up, let's move to an elevated tri-blend shirt. Here we've got the District DM130 Perfect tri T. Super soft and a great value. First, we'll pre-press. Then, following our line down from the collar and the shoulder seam to find the center of our left chest placement, we're all set. Let's drop our graphic down right here. And with another 15 second press, another fantastic result. Total cost puts us right at $6.04, and we're going to be retailing this tri-blend shirt for right around $25. Cha-ching! Let's move on to some fleece. Here we've got another Port in Company style, this time a pullover hoodie. Another fan favorite style, or Dave favorite style, we have the PC850H here. Now loading this onto the heat press here, just like we did our t-shirts, you'll notice that we're going to have an issue here with the hoodie pocket getting in the way of our perfect pressure. Well, no need to fear. We can either raise the printing area, say with something like a mouse pad, or a print perfect pad, or since we have a Hotronics heat press, we're just gonna swap this lower platen over to another size. Now, just a release of the quick change lever here on the side, we could easily lift up to remove the full size 16 by 20 platen and drop in our 11 by 15. Now, with the hoodie loaded onto the press, we're free and clear from any obstructions. Let's pre-press this and check our pressure since we swapped the platen out and are now printing on a little bit thicker of a fabric with this fleece. Now, once we're set and look good, let's drop our center full front graphic right here in place, just about uh, three fingers down from the hood, and we'll press. We are left with a great print right here on our nice charcoal heather hoodie. Then looking at retail price, we're going to be around $30 to $35 uh, on the low end if it doesn't even exceed 40 bucks. I've seen hoodies go for even more than that in the $50 or $60 range, especially when you're selling merch, say at a brewery just like this. Now next up, let's get a little complicated with a work shirt and multiple print locations. So here we've got the Red Cap SP24 short sleeve industrial work shirt. And look at that, it's actually the same one as I'm currently wearing. I absolutely love it. Now here we're going to be doing a left chest right above the pocket along with a sleeve print uh, with our little hop logo on it for a nice added premium touch. We'll use our mouse pad here to raise the printing area to stay free and clear from these buttons down the front and the one right here on our pocket. Now these plastic buttons don't handle heat all too well, so let's raise the printing area so they are completely out of the equation. Now, once we're set with the pressure adjustment with our mouse pad here underneath the garment, we are good to go. I do wanna mention that since we're just decorating here on this small area, we're gonna to wanna to back our pressure off on the press. Now, the pressure sensor here thinks the pressure is distributed across the entire 16 by 20 inch area of the heating element, but it's actually focused to just this small area here above our pocket. So we're going to compensate by looking for somewhere around a two reading here on our heat press instead of a five. Once we're set, we're gonna align our transfer to the pocket, which right here is a good tip for printing above any pocket. It doesn't matter if or how crooked the pocket is actually sewn, align your graphic to it and match it. Now it's going to be obvious if it's off center of the pocket and you really can't control any sewing inconsistencies on these styles. Now these work shirts are fairly bulletproof, but if you're just printing pocket tees, those pockets move around like crazy. Now it always looks best centered and just about a half inch up from the pocket seam, which is exactly where we're gonna put our graphic. Now one 15 second press and just like magic, we've got a quality print here on our work shirt. Now, Let's just swing on over to our sleeve here to decorate that secondary placement. We could use the same mouse pad trick or even an additional platen for our sleeve like the leg and sleeve platen. But I'm actually going to swap our platen right out for our tag along HP platen. Now this one I absolutely love. It's made for printing the front of a shirt and the inside tag at the same time. But we're going to use it here today 
for this easy sleeve print. All I have to do is loop the sleeve up and around right here. We're gonna check our pressure, pre-press, and place our graphic. After that 15 second press, again, we hot peel and we are all set, no need for any additional steps. A work shirt like this is perfect for employee gear or would retail online or in the brewery somewhere between 30 to 35 bucks. All right, now with apparel out of the way, let's roll on over into some promo items that we're able to decorate with our heat press as well. All right, next up on the list is this awesome Port Authority BG919 crossbody bag or fanny pack if you're old school and OG just like me, right? So we're gonna be printing right on the outside, right here on this 100% polyester with this nice kind of like carbon fiber ballistic look to it, right? Then we can loop it over our heat press and then we'll open up this zipper pouch and those mouse pads that we used earlier, just cut up into quarters and we could stick those right in there to raise this up so that everything else is falling away. And then we're just printing here on this area that we're not gonna have any issues with. Alternatively, if say we're doing a large amount of these, we could go back to our interchangeable platens and just go ahead and swap this one right on out. Here with the leg and sleeve platen, we'll just lock it in like we do everything else. We have this little edge to be able to set this up. Now we're still gonna be printing on this zipper and I'm gonna want to avoid that. So now I'm just going to take one of these mouse pads, which is gonna be enough to raise our print area above that. So here we're gonna go down and I feel a little bit of resistance, so I'm gonna back it off. And we're gonna be aiming again for that uh, two range, like when we were printing the work shirt. And once we're happy with how that bag is looking, we have that placed, let's go ahead and just put our logo right here in the center. Now I'm just gonna use my fingers. We're about two or three fingers away from that side, two or three fingers from this side, and we look nice and centered to that bottom seam on the bottom. Well, let's go ahead and press it. And just like everything else, a hot peel. And this bag is going to retail for about 18 to 22 or 25 bucks. Really nice, profitable, and in-demand item right now. Our next item here on the list is the Port Authority BG515 six can collapsible cooler. Now I love this one because number one, it has an insulated interior. Now, if you've ever heat printed any of these soft shell coolers before, you'll notice that this stuff is not really all that friendly when it comes to heat. But what I love about this one is this little pocket right on the outside. So just how we decorated that bag, we're gonna to continue to use this exact same platen and we're just gonna loop this one right on there. There I have a great picture of exactly where this print location is going to be and where our seams of this pocket are. Now, let's go ahead and adjust our pressure. Now, once we're pre-pressed, we're gonna go ahead and take our Lincoln and Barrel graphic right here. We're gonna go ahead and put it centered right on this. And the press peels it for us just like that. That's going to put the entire cost here at $9.42. Now, a bag like this looks pretty premium and is going to retail for anywhere between 18 and 25 bucks. Now for the can cooler, it really couldn't be any simpler. We have a nice two color graphic right here that we'll be printing right on our can cooler. So here we're just gonna pre-press this as it is a little bit thicker, but this foam collapses quite well. So we're just gonna be printing with about a two or three on the pressure, just ensuring that it's nice and squared up straight. Looks good to me, so let's go ahead and press. Oh, there she is. I don't even wanna talk cost on this because it's so low, you could give these away for free or as add-ons when somebody is buying merch. Love these can coolers and for a brewery, couldn't be more perfect. Now, let's fire up the Hotronics 360 IQ hat press for our final item, the FlexFit 110 Foam Front Outdoor Trucker Cap. So we'll turn off the bottom heat here for this application and press with just 290 degrees on top, just like we printed everything else here today with. And just as easy as all the other styles, a hot peel, and we are all set. For a hat that's going to retail around 18 to 22 bucks. Now check it out with the whole collection right here. And now just counting seven items. I'm not even going to count the can cooler. 
we are looking right around $90 in profit margin between us, the decorator, and the brewery or our customer. The true power of a heat press, custom merch, and just about eight minutes of your time. How cool. So what do you think? Have you printed more than just t-shirts with your heat press? Do you use direct to film or screen printed transfers? Let us know down in the comments section below. We always love to keep the conversation going to help apparel decorators succeed. As always, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the Transfer Express YouTube page right here to stay up to date on all of the helpful t-shirt printing tips, tricks, inspiration, and education that we're dropping every single week. But until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing. Happy profit, ting. Happy profiting. Happy prop, ha happy profiting.